side of the road looks like uh ruby's having a little issue I'm gonna go up there and check it out but dr pepper when you're at the gas station was leaking oil of course but it seems to be getting better i've been watching my oil pressure normally there would be stuff like right there right under the back of the block and so there's nothing right now but i've been watching i am the coolest you, part of i'm recording are you I'm recording? Re I'm recording i'm recording the turbos is recording <laughs> Hey, did you get your air conditioning fixed? Yeah, boy, I got to charge it <laughs> uh, Dang. Yeah, I got like three more cans of Freon. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky dog. I, uh, I've been watching my oil pressure. We started out about mid 50s and now we're cruising in about mid to high 40s, but that's expected as the car heats up, the oil becomes more viscous and flows more. So it's expected. I'm always keeping an eye on it because oil pressure is obviously very important, but we're about 50, 80 miles into the drive. We still got a long way to go, but today we're going to Summit, which I'm pretty pumped about because I order a lot of crap from Summit and it'd be great to see some of the, their location in Dallas. I also probably need to get better front tires on the car because I think what are on there right now are motorcycle tires. And yesterday getting squirrely on the big end a little bit, I want to get something a little more stable for the car. So that's the plan. George, you needed a, a spare fuel rail? <laughs> How's your fuel rails? Okay. Well, if you need a spare, let me know. I'm legally not allowed to. Yeah, lost the number. You're legally allowed to watch. You're not uh, legally allowed to get how close to a school? I know you got. Well, that's a whole nother law that I can't break. We got it. All right, first checkpoint. We're about 80 miles south of OKC. Stopping here at this local drag strip, getting our picture and heading right back out again. Those guys ran out of fuel earlier. Never really saw ourselves sitting on the ground at a gas station eating food. But here we are, made it to Bucky's. Still got about 100 miles to go. We're gonna stop at Summit and uh, first off, get her cooled off. Running a little hot. Brand new bumper, absolutely fried. Ooh. <laughs> okay, well, we're broken down here in Buffet King's parking lot, and I gotta say, this is 110% Ben's fault. Absolutely. The, uh, <laughs> the switch panel came unplugged so here we are taking the dash apart chasing colored wires around and he's down there taking a nap shoving his feet around trying to get comfortable unplugs my switch panel we lose power so luckily we're getting her back together get back on the road maybe you should give me a better seat <laughs> yeah could do that <laughs> what's the conclusion well, we're not getting power to the Holly, so I'm wiring the Holly directly to the battery, which is how it should have been anyways. So, see if that does the trick, which it should. No reason it shouldn't, unless we got an issue with the Holly. Sometimes when it rains, it pours, and two wiring issues were knocking out at the same time. The switch panel was one of them, but also the Holly wouldn't turn on. So. Zach had told me a long time ago, my Holly needs to be wired directly to the battery because if you have it on a switch or on a terminal, it could interfere with other wiring and stuff that's going on, cause noise to all your sensors and your data log. So I wired it straight to the battery, it still wouldn't turn on. So there's a power on switch that for some reason isn't working in the switch panel. So we're just gonna wire it straight to the terminal for the push on, push off switch and uh, run it like that for now and mess with it later. Get back on the rope. Let's do it. Well, boys, we should get VIP access here for the amount of money I've spent at summer racing. Well, she was misfiring real bad, and I guess that would be a good reason why, don't you think? Yeah. Looking like a little, looking like a crispy chicken fried steak over here. 
All right, let's go get some new plug wires and gonna get some, just a bunch of things while we're here because why not? We're at what Summer Racing time? Equipment, let's go. I say, dude, this place is pretty impressive. Ordered at the counter and they're back there retrieving our parts. Basically, we just got a bunch of brake cleaner and oil. Yes, we got oil. We're gonna be changing the oil at least twice on this trip. So, we're waiting here at Summit Racing, and then we got about a 30, 40 minute drive to, what is it, Texas Motorplex? Is that where we're racing tonight? Hopefully, we make an 850. What are you working on, bud? Uh, well, we melted some coil or some uh, plug wires. So, getting those, these sleeves, protective sleeves put on to help them out a little bit. It's hot out here. Yeah, long day of driving. How long was it? 10 hours. 10 hours ago, 260 miles, which I don't even know how that happened, but we made it to Texas Motorplex. We're getting the car dialed to do our first trip. It's already about what, like 7.30? Yeah. So we're getting the tires on, getting the oil changed, you know, because you guys have been reminding me like crazy. So just getting her dialed to do, the, to do uh, just get her fixed up so that we can do a hit and uh, hopefully go mid eights, because that would be sick. People, I changed the oil per everybody's request. She's looking a little dark, but we were driving a lot today and it definitely got hot, so why not change it? to give it like leave on like five or six pounds i'm gonna pull the data log so i was on the two-step built it up released spun immediately got back into it and rode it all the way out and ran a 9.5 at 162 so my mile an hour is way up there if i would have hooked right off the line that would have been like an absolute great pass but we're gonna pull the data log get some ice in it refuel it up and then get back in line make another hit if we have time That's what we needed. Awesome. I, dude, I think I spun off the line, I let out of it right out the bed. Right off the hit. So, and then got back into it, made a full pass all the way down. So, I mean, 878, I mean, Otherwise, I think we'll take it and run with it, dude. Right? Oh my God, man. Oh. So, no, I didn't see the slip until you, you texted me like, dude, and I was, so I knew it was something good because I was getting the shoot in the car. So, man, let's do this. Let's go turn this slip. We're in, in the class. Yeah, 